What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back with another video on how to improve your aim and gun skill on Black Ops 4. Now I do this video every single year and I love doing it because it helps you guys, gives you guys the best tips on how to become better on the game. And I've been grinding this game, man. So I know a lot of things. I know some tips and tricks that can help you out. And obviously you will be dominant. So I decided to divide it into two sections. We're going to start off with the basic level and then sort of the pro level or the next level that would obviously make you even better. So before we get into it, I want you to go into custom games, put free for all fire range. I mean, come on, fire range. Perfect for this. And on top of that, I want you to go to time limit and score limit, put both on unlimited and go to gameplay and put the minimap on sweeping. Now, once you have that done, I want you to add exactly 11 bots. I think you can add about 14, 15 bots, but I, I think this map is kind of small. I don't want you to be in engagement every single second or getting spawn trapped. So this is like just the perfect amount. The class I'm also going to be running is an ICR. It's the easiest gun to shoot, but I think it's good to start this way to have an exact idea how to snap on people and how to get your aim right. I'm going to be running quick draw, grip, and grip two, just for basically no recoil, can snap it real easy. Scavenger to pick up that extra ammo in case I run out of ammo. Lightweight to be a little bit faster on the map. And dead silence. Third perk doesn't really matter. And of course, you got stim shot. All right, so let's get right into this, boys. All right, guys, before we continue this video, we're going to start off with the number one most important thing when it comes to aiming is your sensitivity. Now, you have to make sure you're on a good sensitivity because that is very important when it comes to obviously shooting straight. I play on 6-6. Six, six. I think it's a good median. If you play on 5-5, five, five, perfect. 5-6, five, perfect. 4-5, perfect. You should not be going lower than four, and you should not be going higher than six. Now, seven might be doable in this game just because the auto aim is pretty good in this game. So you can maybe, maybe play with seven, but please do not go any higher than eight and do not go any lower than three. Just stay between, I would say four to six, but if, hey, if you like seven, then do your thing. So the next big thing, and the big reason why I started the free for all lobby in the first place is you just want to play, man. You want to shoot your gun a lot. You want to get into engagements. You know, like any game you ever play, the reason you get so good is because you start shooting more, you start playing more. It's the same concept, man. The more you shoot, the more you get into gunfights, the better your shot's going to get and the better you're going to get. So a big thing you want to do, especially if you're really serious about improving your aim, you want to just get into a bot lobby. Just practice on snapping on these bots. Practice on just aiming in, you know, really hitting your shots. I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to really improving your aim. For example, when I play a little bit, my shot's good, but it's not. it could be better. But when I'm grinding the game, my shot is amazing. It's just I don't miss. I'm always snapping on people. And it just comes with a lot of playtime, man. So don't, you know, just be patient with it. Really practice. You know, if you if you feel like you're someone who needs a lot of work in their aim, just simply do this every day. You know, shoot 100 to 200 bots, I would say, every single day till your shot, you know, you see a big improvement. And obviously, on top of that, of shooting the bots, you can obviously play other things like shoot, shoot uh, play pubs. You will be better. Your shot will get better. You probably will start having a beamer. And, you know, you probably start shooting like apathy, which is um, a very good thing. So my next tip is the crouch shot. Now, the crouch shot is something that's been very popular, I, I would say, the past two games, aka in Infinite Warfare and World War II. Basically, what the crouch shot is, is you crouching um, during a mid-gun fight. It's, it's basically instead of a drop shot, you're basically crouching. You can even do the up, down, and crouch, where you basically spammy crouch up and down, up and down. Now, some people might have difficulty with this if they play on a weird, on a, on a, on a default setting. All you simply have to do is put your setting on tactical, which is very simple. I'll show you real quick. You go over here, you go to button layout and just put tactical and it allows you to crouch with your with your right analog, your aimer. So therefore, when you're aiming in and you're shooting someone, you can continuously shoot and crouch at the same time. And the reason this is so good is because on top of shooting people at the same time and, and it's like it's like a mini drop shot. People are trying to shoot you and they have to now instead of just aiming at your body or wherever they're aiming at in the first place. They have to aim down at your others at the obviously you have to aim down and follow your body down and that can really be in useful in a lot of situations i don't obviously crowd shot every single gunfight not only does he now has to snap on you and you know hit a really good shot but now he also has to follow your crouch spamming and just going all over the place and it reminds me a lot of like you know like br games how people just spam crouching and stuff like that it's basically the same concept just in call of duty and it works really well man it's something that i've accustomed to and it's something that it's something I've gotten really good at. If you guys watch any of my streams and watch me play these tournaments or, or watch me hit some really good shots, you will see that I'm crowd like I'll get some crazy plays or some crazy kills or some crazy clutches simply by just like getting like some crowd shot kills. That it just it's really effective. I would really recommend you practice it. Obviously, you don't have to do it all the time, and you don't have to only crouch spam. Like I'm not saying always like do this, like jump up and down, even though it does work really well. You can also just just like hit a crouch like that. You don't have to just spam it, but they're both really effective. 
Now to get into the next level things. And now these are things that are obviously going to take you to the next level. I would say it will improve your aim. It will improve your gun skill a little bit more. And it will definitely make you a better player. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is centering. Now this is something sort of basic still. But I like to think of it as in the middle range. Because I don't think everyone centers that well. And centering is really important. So basically centering is ha having your crosshairs at a medium range. Pretty much everywhere you go. And anticipating your opponent. But not only anticipating your opponent. But just having it ready to go in case he comes around the corner in case he's, he's going to challenge you and it allows you to snap in right away on your enemy and it does depend on where you're at on the map it doesn't mean only straight because there's obviously different parts and different there's obviously different floors on the map so for example let's say i'm pushing up right here i'm always centering my aim as i walk around the map and maneuver around the map therefore i'm always ready to kill someone if i need to even though that sounds kind of harsh. I don't like using the word kill. But obviously, we're playing video games. So that's what it is. And you can see I'm just centering around. I'm always keeping my aimer at a medium range. Because they're obviously their body is going to be around here. And I just center around. Now, here is sort of different. As you see that it goes down. It's sort of a downhill. So it's this is what I mean. Instead of just centering up, now you're going to now you're going to slightly maneuver down. And you're going to center like this. Now, centering is really important. Even I get lazy sometimes. And like I said, even some pros don't do it. And it's it can be a bad habit. It can hurt you sometimes and it can cost you. And it's really, see, crotch up. And it's really good. And you obviously want to be doing it at all times. And it will help you for sure one more gunfight. So, for example, anytime you know they're going to be at a heady or something like that. Or a head glitch, as we like to call it. You want to just center around there. So, anywhere I maneuver around the map, I'm going to show you a quick preview. Centering, centering, centering. Can a guy, a guy's going to be trailer. You see how I raise it? Instead of the window, I go now go up like this. Go up the ladder. Now I center high. Now I go back medium. And you just basically want to maneuver around the map like that, centering. And you want to practice it. It's good to practice here in like a bot lobby. That way you can, you know, you're not really going to have people constantly killing you. It allows you to practice it, really snap on people. And like I said, you're just ready to snap on someone if they come through. Just ready to just boom, boom, boom. You're going to go up, boom. And it's just really effective, man. Trust me, it will work. Now, for a big tip in this game, and I think it's something that is actually extremely important, and it was very important in World War II, is angles. What comes to mind when you guys think of angles? But angles can be off angles, and I think that's the biggest thing I want to really uh, talk about, is just off angles. So basically, in this game, it's very similar to World War II when it comes to the guns, how the guns don't really recoil. It's pretty easy to shoot straight. It's pretty easy to kill people off head glitches nowadays. And you really want to play off angles just so you're not prone to that. So if I were to just, let's say if I were to just sit right here, right? And someone came around this corner. Now, this, well, this is a better head glitch because there's like extra stuff on it. But if someone to come here, he can easily just come around the corner and probably snap on me. So when an opponent knows you're in a certain position and you for sure, you know that they know you're in a certain position, you want to play an off angle. And it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to play it off angle at all times because it can be, off angles can be really effective when it comes to getting like kills and easy kills. But let's say, so, let's say he knows, you're, let's say he's going to come out of here. Let's say he knows I'm here, right? You know, off angles, you basically play like this. You can, you can even maneuver a little bit off the head glitch, play like this. And what he's going to do, use a lot of time, is he's going to, oh my God, I'm trying to show my, damn! Basically, what he's gonna do, he's gonna he's gonna wide peek you like that and snap on you, right? He's gonna first of all, he's gonna center to, to that heady, and on top of centering to that heady, he's gonna wide peek you to try to kill you, right? So he's gonna wide peek you, and you're you're here, right? Let's say you're right here. Let's say you sort of get out the head glitch, right? You're kind of on the head glitch, but you're really not. And he wide peeks. You're gonna kill him before he even like maybe he puts one bullet into you. And that's just him over peeking, but he doesn't expect the the off angle. So you see what I'm catch you catching my drift here, and it's very very effective. I kid you not, man. I've been playing a lot of SND tournaments, and especially with the ICR, I do it sometimes, and it just works so well. Off angles are really important. You know, just angling yourself certain gunfights is very important. Don't always just be the basic guy who sits on a head glitch and just stays like this. You know, like, you, you're going to get picked a lot of times, especially in games with, like, the guns barely recoil and just people are good, good, have good shots. you got to play those off angles, especially if you want to get those picks and just get those first bloods. So for my last big tip and something that's extremely cool and something really important in this Call of Duty game and something I'll probably talk about in another video one day is the recoil patterns. Now, a lot of you guys know CSGO, which has its own recoil patterns. Every gun has its own recoil pattern. And it's very good because it build, it makes the game consistent. There's just consistency with the guns. And obviously, you have to learn how the recoil patterns work on every gun. So therefore, to aim better and shoot straighter, you know, you're able to just really dominate and really just work on any gun or your favorite gun sort of thing. 
So now the ICR, it shoots very straight, especially with grip one and grip two. So this is this gun doesn't really have a recoil pattern. As you can see, it basically shoots pretty much straight for the most part. So now let's go with the Maddox. So I can give you guys a good example. As you see, it goes up and then sort of left, right, left, right, left, right. And it just keeps doing that pretty much every single time. Goes up, left, right, left, right, left, right. As you can see, the there it's about 90% the same, pretty much the same thing. It's obviously slightly different, but that's just, I guess, how the game is. But for the most part, the recoil pattern is about the same. So, okay, well, it's ran out of ammo. So basically, knowing that recoil pattern, you know it goes up. You have to slightly aim down, so shoot straight. You see how it's sort of beamed? And then obviously you got to just get ready to predict the recoil pattern and you just got to get better at that. Now every gun has a different recoil pattern and it takes practice and getting used to, but this is something that will make you a better player and will make you shoot better and even like hit your bullets better. And this is something definitely that requires a, a lot of practice and you have to obviously be really good at aiming. And I would say this is like the last thing you should practice on and worry about. Uh, you should definitely focus on all the other tips I gave you. And this is probably the last hardest thing that you can work on. Um, there's a lot of guns that have a sort of an easy recoil pattern. I think the Maddox is pretty easy to get used to. Like I said, it just pretty much goes up and then left, right, left, right, and then right. And you can simply just, you know, practice it in pubs, practice it in when you're playing bots, and really just improve on your aim. And it will get easier to practice. I'm still working on my Maddox shot. I definitely got better with it. I, I've, under I've understood the recoil pattern pretty well, and I've been practicing with it. But it's not the easiest thing to perfect. And not even then, it's like really hard to perfect because like I said, uh, the recoil pattern is about 90% the same. But either way, this is something that I would really recommend you to learn. There's obviously some guns like the GKS, uh, the ICR, that basically have like no recoil, zero recoil. And the re it doesn't really have a recoil pattern for the most part. You just kind of shoot the gun straight. But other than that, there's like, I would say about like 60, 70% of the guns do have a recoil pattern and you can shoot the gun better. And that's the whole point of it, man. So that's something I would really recommend you to practice. And that's, I'm really happy that they have that in this Call of Duty. And there's not just that random recoil and kind of like just that inconsistency. And that's something that I can't stress enough. It's just freaking awesome, man. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And I love giving you guys these tips and helping you guys become better players, man. Because I want to see you guys become the freaking best and I want to see you guys dominate. And I want to see you say, oh, Apathy taught me how to aim better. Apathy taught me how to be better. Thank you, Apathy, for helping me. I love helping you guys. And it's awesome, man. You know, it just it's a good feeling. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing some more tip videos in the near future. And I'm going to be helping you guys a ton with what I can and the knowledge I have. And, you know, I love you guys, man. Thanks for watching. This has been your boy, Apathy. And I'm out. Peace.